Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can set up your very own YouTube channel. And I'm gonna show you step by step how you first off upload your first video, how you customize your channel, how you look at your analytics, and it's gonna give you a full view into how you can get your YouTube channel up and running. And it's actually easier than you think. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you exactly how you can do it. All right, well here I am on my PC, and to set up a YouTube channel, I probably need some type of video that I wanna share with the world, and the good thing is I have a video. Now, I'm thinking about setting up a time-lapse video channel, uh, and this is my very first video. This is a time-lapse of the city of Seattle. You see the Space Needle in the front, and over the course of the video, it gets darker and darker, and you can see evening set in on Seattle. So this is gonna be my first video that I upload to my channel. I think I'm very proud of this video, and by the way, I uh, live in Seattle, so this is my hometown city, so I'm gonna represent with this video. So I have my first video. How do I go about getting this onto YouTube, and how do I set up my channel? Well. Here we go. So what we're gonna do first is let's open up a web browser and I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, Google Chrome. With my browser open, what I wanna do is let's navigate to the website youtube.com. We wanna set up our own YouTube channel, so it probably makes sense to head on over to YouTube. So here we are on the YouTube website, and what we wanna do as our very first step is we wanna sign into YouTube. So up in the top right-hand corner, there's an option that says sign in. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then what you're gonna need is you need some type of Google account. If you don't have one yet, you could just go ahead and create a new account. However, I already have a Google account, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in with kevstrat6 at gmail.com. <clears throat> and then I'll go ahead, it's already automatically entered my password, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on next, and now I'm logged into YouTube as KevStrat6, and this is the user that I wanna create the YouTube channel for. So here I am in YouTube, and I have a whole bunch of different video suggestions, so how do I go about creating a channel? Well, it's actually very easy, and to create your channel, really what you need to do is you just need to upload your first video, and to do that, up here, once again, in the top right-hand corner, there's a there's a plus icon right here, or the create icon, so it's a little camera with a plus sign. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and when I click on that button, I have two different options. One is to upload a video, and the other is to stream and go live. So I could do either one of those, but I simply wanna upload a video, so I'm gonna click on the first option. Now what's gonna happen is this brings me into the upload video prompt and here it says I could either drag and drop a video or I could select the files and this will bring up a file picker. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select files and this video file is on my desktop. It's the Cary Park time-lapse. By the way, if you ever visit Seattle, Cary Park is a beautiful uh, place to visit and that's where you get probably the best view of the uh, downtown skyline. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's select that file and now YouTube is going to upload this video and so it might take a little bit of time depending on your upload speed. This is a smaller video so it should go pretty fast. Now when you upload your video and when you upload any video to YouTube, you'll be able to type in a title. So I'm gonna just name it Cary Park Time Lapse. And then what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna type in a quick description. And there's my description. Now as I go down, what I can also do is I can select a thumbnail. I could select a custom thumbnail or what'll happen is once the video has finished uploading, YouTube will suggest auto-generated thumbnails for me from the video. So they'll choose thumbnails that tend to work well and will attract a good click-through rate. However, as your YouTube channel becomes more and more prominent and as you have more subscribers and viewers, it makes sense to upload your own thumbnail that really represents what the video is about. So you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna wait for the upload to finish and then I'll select one of the pre-selected thumbnails. Now what I can also do here I could select a playlist that this video goes under. I could also indicate if this video is made for kids or not. This video is not specifically for kids, so I'm gonna go ahead and select not. And then there are some additional options down here that you could open up where you add things like tags, subtitles, where it was filmed, and information like that. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna leave those as is. All right, well once the video finishes uploading, it needs to process the video, and here you see the three different options for the thumbnail. They're all of Cary Park, but they're simply different parts of the video. I'm gonna go with the the early evening shot where the sky is somewhat dark blue and you can still see the city and some of the sun against the buildings. I think that one looks nice. 
Uh, so that's gonna be my thumbnail, and I'm gonna go ahead now and click on Next. Now what I can do next is there's something called Video Elements. I can add an end screen. What an end screen is, I'll go ahead and click on that just to show what I could do is I could feature a video and I could also encourage users to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the recommended option here. And what I'm gonna do here is this is just gonna be the best video recommendation for the viewer. This looks great to me and I'm gonna go ahead and save this. What I can also do is there's the option to add cards to your video and what you could do with cards is here as this video plays, I could add a card and I could promote another video or playlist, another channel, or I could create a poll that users can look at. Uh, so another nice way to generate or drive traffic back to your other videos. But in this case, this is my first video on the channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is and we're gonna go back to YouTube Studio. Now back here, it looks like all of that's set. Now I'm gonna jump through and I have a few different options. I can save and publish and make it public so everyone can immediately see it or I could unlist it or I can make the video private. I'm gonna just make it private for now. Uh, but I also have the option to schedule the video if I want it to go live at a certain time. So let's say that I wanna release my videos every morning at you know say 8 a.m. I have the option to do that. And there's also something called a premiere where it'll go live at the same time for everyone. So so let's say you have a big unveiling of some exciting new video, you can make it a premiere and that way you could watch it along with your viewers all at the same time. It adds a little bit of excitement. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna list it as a private video since this is one of my test channels here and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And congratulations, hooray! This is the first video on my YouTube channel and if you've uploaded your first video, your YouTube channel is officially set. You technically now have a YouTube channel. Congratulations. This is the main YouTube studio view and I'll show you how you can get back here if you ever wanna to return to this view. So what I'm gonna do is let's open up another tab and I'm gonna navigate back to YouTube uh, dot com and up here under the people profile picture so this is your photo up here in the top right hand corner I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then within this you'll see an option that says YouTube studio if I click on that that will bring me back to this view here so just a quick way to navigate back but this is where you're gonna manage your videos and we'll come back here in just a moment but what I want to start with first is let's take a look and see what your channel looks like now that you've uploaded your first video so I'm gonna go back to my main YouTube chat, uh, tab. And then here again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on your photo up here in the right-hand corner. And along with the YouTube Studio, there's also an option that says your channel. And so if I click on your channel, what this will do is this will bring me to my main channel page and I could go ahead and refresh it now. And what'll happen is this is my home page here. So what I can do is right now it looks a little barren because I don't have much content here, but what I can do is I can click on customize channel. So let's go ahead and click on customize channel and I'll show you very quickly what we can do here. So here at the very top, there's something called channel art. This represents your channel to anyone stumbling upon your channel. And so what we could do is we could click on add channel art here, or if you already have channel art, you could click over here on the pen and then you could also edit your channel art. So let's go ahead and let's add some channel art. You could upload a photo, you could select an existing photo, or you could click into the gallery and simply choose one of uh, YouTube's photos. And I'm just gonna go ahead, let's choose this one for now. Now the interesting thing is YouTube will crop the photo depending on whether the photo appears on a desktop, on a TV, or a mobile device. If you're interested in learning more about how to create a great looking piece of channel art, I've created a video on that, and you can find it in the description of this video. So feel free to check that out. All right, well this looks good, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this photo, and that's going to be my new channel art. Along with changing the channel art, what I could do is I could also update my photo here. If I click on this icon here, I could update my photo up here. So this is my way of representing who I am to the world, and so I could update that picture. One other thing that you have here, one thing you might notice on some other channels is there are links that appear here in the bottom right-hand corner of the channel art. If you click on the pen, you could click on something called edit links and this will allow you to add different links. So whether you say have a Facebook, whether you have an Instagram, whether you have any type or a Twitter account, any type of link that you wanna feature on your channel, you could very easily do that using this link right there.
One of the other things that I want to show on this page as we go down here, there's something called featured channels. This is where you could feature your favorite YouTubers right here. And I would hope that everyone watching this video would add Kevin Stratford as a featured channel because I know you love it so much. All kidding aside, this is where you could add different channels and you could feature, say, friends or maybe uh, people who you uh, really find inspirational. Uh, you could add them right here. Now, one of the other things that we can do is over here in the main section of the page, this is where it's gonna feature your uploads. Now, I just uploaded a video, but it takes YouTube a little bit of time to detect that it's there. Uh, but what I can do here is I could add different sections to my page. So here I could select the type of content that appears. So I could put down popular uploads and I could list out the uploads with the most views. I could show my playlists. I could show subscriptions that I have. Uh, so all sorts of different ways of representing the content on my channel. And then as I choose these different content types, I could also choose do I want it in a horizontal layout or do I want it in a vertical layout? So two different ways of representing how the videos look, but you have control and you could customize how this page appears to your viewers. The next thing I wanna do is on the channel page, let's go ahead and click on the about pivot up here. And what this will do is this brings up more information about your channel. You could add a channel description. For business inquiries, you can include an email address. So it's a good idea to create a separate email address, especially as your channel gets bigger and bigger. You might get a lot of business inquiries and you wanna separate that from your personal email. You could also indicate your location. And lastly, one more place where you could add links for your channel. So I showed a previous way, but this is one more way you could add links in. So now that we've gone through and we've customized the channel a little bit, why don't we go back to the YouTube studio? And once again, to get there, you could click on your photo and then go to YouTube studio. I also have an existing tab open already that is in the YouTube studio. So let's walk through this and I'll show you just some of the high level things that you can do within the YouTube studio. And we're gonna go down this list from top to bottom and we're gonna start with the dashboard. Now the dashboard is where you're first going to come in anytime you launch the YouTube studio. Studio. Some of the things you'll see here, one of the fun things is how many subscribers you have. Now, if you have a channel and you have more than zero, you are beating this channel. Congratulations. This channel does not have much of a following, but perhaps one day we can build this up. So here is just the main dashboard view. Some interesting high level information that you could see here. There's also a lot of learning content uh, that YouTube publishes and you can see right within this view. They also publish a video every week where they give you nice information about new developments and innovations at YouTube. Now what I'm gonna do next is, now that we took a look at this, let's jump into the videos uh, tab over here on the left-hand side. And here's where you see all your different videos that you have. You can see what the visibility is. You can see when it was published, how many views, how many comments. You could also sort by views. Here, if I hover over the video, what I could do is I could jump in to edit. So I could view analytics specific to this video, comments specific to this video. I could also view it on YouTube. And if I click on the ellipses or the dot, 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 I also see a few additional links here if I wanna download the video, or I could simply delete it forever and it won't come back. So a few of the things that I could do, I'm gonna click into the edit option and here you can see that one once again, like when I uploaded it, here I could go back and I could edit details related to the video. And here what's interesting is I could see analytics specific to this video. So now if I go back, some of the other options that I could have, I could create playlists related to my YouTube channel. I don't have any currently, but on my main channel, I have playlists related to different groups of topics. So I've done a whole bunch of Microsoft Teams videos and they all sit within their own playlist. I've done a bunch of PowerPoint videos. They also sit in their own playlist. So it's a nice way to group related content together. And then as I go down, I also have overall channel analytics. I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. My, this channel is not very active, so there are no views, but here you can see how many views you're getting, what your watch time is, how many subscribers you're gaining on a daily basis. You could also adjust things like what time period you look at. And there's also an advanced mode which allows you to get more granular views of how your channel is performing. Uh, so some very nice in-depth views to keep you up to speed on how things are going. You also have the ability to look at comments that are coming in on your channel. YouTube does a nice job of holding comments that say are spam or link out to commercial websites that people post occasionally. And so you could review those and remove those. Uh, and you have full control over what comments show up on your channel. There are also different filters that you could apply here. The default filter is comments I haven't responded to, although I really don't have any comments at all here. Uh, and then you could also sort by other things. For example, if someone with say a high subscriber count posts a comment, 
that could be kind of fun. So you can very quickly sort by that. You could also add subtitles in different languages to your videos or even in English. Uh, once your channel is large enough, you can monetize your channel. To monetize, you need at least a thousand subscribers and you also need at least 4,000 watch hours over the period of a year. And once you hit those, you can start making money on ads from your videos. So it's kind of a nice, neat little milestone that you could get to. And here you could have YouTube notify you when you're eligible for that. Lastly, one of the great things here is the audio library in YouTube, and this is awesome. What this is, is YouTube provides a massive library of music and audio files that you can use in your videos, and you don't have to worry about getting copyright strikes, you don't have to worry about uh, people claiming that it's their songs. You can use these songs and you can monetize your videos. And along with all the free music, there are also sound effects that you could use if, say, you want to insert different sound effects into your videos. Uh, so really, really nice capability here. Back in the YouTube studio, what we're going to do now is I'm going to click into settings and we could take a look at what types of settings are available. There's not too much here, but some of the simple things that I could do is if I click into channel, here I could edit my channel name. I could also add keywords related to my channel, the country that I work in. Once again, here's another path back to customizing my channel so they have another entry point from here. You could also set upload defaults so every video that uploads, you could set a specific title or a description. You could also set your default visibility so you don't have to select that each and every single time that you're uploading a video and one of the neat ones is this is something called permissions so let's say you're setting up a YouTube channel and you have people who are helping you with it you can give them permissions so they can also go in and they could access your account uh, they could also moderate comments uh, so a neat way to bring other people in on the fun of creating a YouTube channel all right, well that was just a really quick overview of how you can set up your very first YouTube channel. Hopefully you have some fun ideas uh, for a YouTube channel. Maybe it's a hobby, maybe you're doing instructional videos. Whatever your reason is, Hopefully you have fun doing it and you, you really enjoy it. With my YouTube channel, I've had a blast creating this, uh, creating my channel, uh, and hopefully you do too. If you have some fun videos or if you have a neat channel that you created, leave a comment down below so both I and also some of the viewers can see uh, what type of channel uh, you've created. Anyway, if this video helped you get your first YouTube channel up and running, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.